Morning HMS. It's a new day and a new episode of HMS Today. I'm your host, Suhani Patney. Today's show has lots of fun and information. Now, last week on CAF TV, we showed you this slide. To be honest, we didn't expect anyone to figure out the joke. Here's what we were thinking. Multiply it. Seven times 13 is 28. Go ahead. Now, first, we've got to put down a 13, right? Right. There's a 13. Times 7. Times 7. Right. 7 weeks times 13. Right? 7 times 3. 21. 21. 7 times 1. 7. 7. 7 and 1. 8. And Judah Perry. <laughs> kind of funny. Now, and this shouldn't be too surprising, but HMS is brilliant. Here's what one of you sent in. Wow, amazing. We wanted to give her a prize, but Akshaya is one of us, and we don't get prizes. So we at least wanted you to know she's awesome. And now it's time for Minute with an Admin. Hello, Mr. Ocampo. Please listen carefully to this important announcement. Effective immediately, all students will receive an A in all of their classes, and all classes will now be outside recess for the remainder of the year. All remote classes will be provided gaming computers to play Minecraft on, as well as gaming headsets. In addition, the cafeteria will now be serving filet mignon, lobster mac and cheese, and ice cream sandwiches. April Fools! I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that announcement was one of my many, many, many bad jokes. Now, I've always wondered where and why April Fool's Day started. In my research, I found that no one truly knows. However, one theory suggests that it dates back to classical Roman times when they celebrated a joyful festival called Hilaria. Another theory is that the Roman Empire made one of the jesters king for a day and called that day April Fool's Day. There are also glimpses of April Fool's Day in books from Chaucer and a poem by D. D Amerville. One fascinating, what's fascinating is that no one truly knows why and how this worldwide holiday exists. Do you have any ideas? Let me know if you do. Thank you, Mr. Ocampo. And who's feeling the need for a new phenomenal fun fact? That's right, we all are. Hello and welcome to Phenomenal Fun Facts. Today, please welcome student presenter, Alina Sheikh. Thanks for having me, Mr. Rockwood. Did you know that a number of famous individuals were born this month? Like Ella Fitzgerald, a well-known artist in the music industry, as well as another favorite in jazz singing, Bessie Smith, the Empress of the Blues. Leonardo da Vinci was known as the Emperor of the Arts and was also born this month. He was thought to be dyslexic, like Thomas Jefferson, who was born on the 13th. How interesting. On another note, know anything about the origin of April Fool's Day? I sure do. Well, sort of. You see, it's one big mystery. Some hypothesize that started in France in 1582, when Pope Gregory the 13th switched calendars. And those who still followed their previous calendar were considered April Fool's. We actually follow the same calendar known as the Gregorian calendar, which starts the year on the 1st of January, not April. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Alina. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and read a great book. Very nice job, Mr. Rockwood and Alina. And now I'm pleased to announce that HMS has voted and we have a winner in our first talent show segment. Hi, HMS. Have you wanted to know who won the talent show? Well, lucky for you, because we're here today to announce it. Thank you all for participating. The winner is Lila Van Beek. Congratulations. You get an HMS candy-filled water bottle. And no worries, our other finalists get a prize, too. And the random voter selected to win a prize was Constantino Syllabus. You can pick up your prizes in the main office. You will get your prizes from Mrs. McBride. We will have a new talent show topic for you soon. Thank you all for participating. Have a wonderful April Fool's Day. And now it's time for birthdays. And that's all we've got this week, folks. Hope you enjoyed. 